When talking about file management outside of Chief Architect Project Management, we recommend adding a new folder to a directory on your computer called Chief Plans. And within that folder, creating folders for each project. Each project folder contains the plan, the layout, and additional files that might be relevant to the project. We recommend this type of strategy because Chief Architect files have links to each other, and keeping all the files in one place means that it is less likely that a file will get moved, renamed, or deleted, and the link broken as a result. We'll call this traditional file management. Traditional file management requires an understanding of your computer's file system, and where those files are stored. Because Chief Architect requires multiple files to link to each other, plans, layouts, material maps, etc., it is important to be very organized or you risk breaking these connections, especially when accommodating change orders and making duplicates of your project. When project management is turned on, all files associated with the project are bundled together so links cannot be accidentally broken. For example, plans and layouts are bundled together into a project so renaming a plan or a layout file will not break the link between them. We can make copies and move files within the project without worry that a link will break. We will only be able to link files that are within the same project, so we don't have to worry about linking to a plan erroneously. Project management can be turned on or off by closing all plans and layouts, going to Preferences, and navigating to the Project Management panel. Here you will find the Use Chief Architect Project Management checkbox. When you turn on Chief Architect Project Management, we copy your preferences and user settings into Chief's Managed Store. This includes your custom toolbars, templates, and user catalog. Changes you make to these items after that point are only saved to the Managed Store. The files in the Managed Store are not accessible through File Explorer or Finder. We store the content and metadata in a format that allows Chief Architect to keep track of the file associations between files, and are meant to be accessed only through Chief. If you turn off project management, we copy the user settings back to their original locations. However, you'll need to export any projects you want outside of project management. While using project management, everything is contained within the Chief Architect Managed Store. To take a project out of project management, we can right-click on the project in the project browser and choose the option to export. We can then choose which files in the project are exported, and the export process will bundle up the chosen files of the project, including any linked assets. This process creates a CA proj file that will be saved to your computer in the location of your choosing. Double-clicking on a CA proj file while using Chief Architect File Management will automatically import the project into your managed store. If we double-click on a CA proj file outside of Chief Architect Project Management, Chief Architect will prompt for a location to unpack the project file onto our computer, and we will see the plan, layout, and materials as we expect to see them. If we have a lot of projects in the project browser and we want to switch out of Chief Architect Project Management, we can go to File, Backup and Restore, Backup Manage Resources. This will create a full backup of our managed store that is now accessible outside of project management. We can find this backup in our Documents folder, where we can unzip it, and we can locate all of the plan and layout files that we had in our project browser while using Chief Architect Project Management. 